Ireland and today I've got all the mixing bowls in the kitchen out because I'm going to divide and repot my Disa orchids. Now here are my Disa orchids and um, they are, well this is how I grow them, they're sitting in a little dish of water and what happened was this large one flowered last year and um, then it died and now it's regrown all these babies so I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and uh, divide and repot them. Right, so I'm just placing the larger plat, plant first in a bowl of water, rainwater, always rainwater, just to let it soak, and um, then we can go on about it. Um, I just want to tell you that I'm not going to divide them too small. So um, this plant here, there are lots and lots of um, baby plants in there, and some are bigger than others. But um, maybe if you come in and have a look there. I'm not going to uh, divide each individual one up because I have actually bought these um, from people on forums and I've gotten these individual little plantlets and they just, I mean, I, I've, I've had not had much success with them. So I'm going to keep uh, this quite large, maybe four divisions out of this pot here. Okay, right, so I'm going to see if it'll come easily out of the pot. Let's take the label out first. Wow, this is jam-packed. Okay, so it's a, a Uniflora Disa, and this one is called Firebird. And let's see if it'll come out of the pot. Okay, so there we go, out we get. And there you can see the root system that's in place. Okay, now what I think I'll do is I'll pot it back, I'll pop it back into this water here to kind of get the mix off. Okay, so while that's sitting there, I'm just going to um, make the mix up that I'm going to repot these in. Now, up until this point, um, what I've done is I've potted my Jesus in 50% peat and 50% horticultural sand. And I did that because the original intention was to grow them with my Saracenia in the bog bed but uh, I never had the nerve to actually put them out, outdoors at all. So um, anyway, that's the mix I've used. But checking out um, the internet, and in particular Dave Parkinson's website, he's a grower in England who grows a, a fantastic array of fabulous thesis. And um, he recommends 60% peat, 40% perlite. So that's the mix that I'm going to use. Okay, so 60% peat, um, oh, so it's kind of three parts peat, two parts perlite, so one, this is Irish moss peat, two, um, uh, three parts moss peat, and to two parts perlite, so that's one, and two, okay. Now, um, these are such unusual orchids because, like, you know, they're kept wet the whole time, which is really, really strange. And also the mix, it's just, um, it's not what we're used to at all. No orchid bark at all involved. Okay, so that's the mix I'm going to use. i just take that bit out there. Um, now let's have a look at this plant and see if I can divide it now, if it's soaked for long enough. Okay, so I'll just bring it over here. Now, to actually see what's going on here, I don't want to damage any of the little divisions, yet I don't want to... Um, okay, what I can do is actually pull out some of this uh, mix here. These need to be repotted Whoops, after the uh, old plant dies, they need to be repotted. Fresh mix is one of the keys to successful flowering. Okay, now, did I break any roots there? Just to show you what I'm doing, I'm excavating the center, taking out the spent uh, mix there. And just pop that back in the water again. Loosen it up. 
actually maybe it makes sense to do this over the water because I'll just um, I can just keep working away at it there okay so back in again that's a mucky murky, murky looking bowl of water isn't it okay oh gosh look now look at this you see they want to divide up individually there's one little plantlet put that down and um, let's see what other way this wants to divide sometimes the little plantlets on this thing and um, they grow out the bottom of the pot I think I'm gonna um, stop here now and come back to you in a minute and um, when I've got this divided so here we are and I've divided up um, all those clumps of Disa. Now there were actually more that wanted to divide than I intended but so it goes and you can see that there are little tubers here on a lot of the plants and um, so um, they're looking good. So um, I'm going to take this clump here and um, it's got two tubers in there so it's a couple of little plantlets but I'm not going to divide this this any further and keeping um well trying not to break the roots i did break off a few as i went but uh, hopefully not too many uh, so um let's pot this up okay so here's my um 60 peat and 40 percent perlite and i'm just going to put this into the pot Trying to keep it at the same level it was before. Oops, there's a root come off. Uh, now, apparently it's very important not to press down with the compost um, on the plant as you would normally, you know, you'd normally firm up a little bit. Well, with this you don't want to firm off. You, you mustn't press down. So, um, oh, there's another root gone, okay. So, well very tempting not to, so I'll just tap the pot like that to make it settle. And um, now what I'll do is I'll, I'll give that a watering from above um, with rain water and that should, um, that should settle it down so it looks like that. Um, I'm just going to pop that in there now. Okay, so that's me dividing and, uh, well, uh, repotting these orchids which needs to be done well, every spring, I believe. Um, for more information, I'll put up a um, reference to David Parkinson's website at the beginning of this video. And um, I believe these plants originally came from him, although uh, it's very hard to buy from him unless you're actually in the UK because he doesn't have, um, well, you can't pay with PayPal or anything like that. Uh, but, um, well, that's all really. Um, thanks very much for watching and hopefully you'll come back and see my uh, Disa Uniflora Firebird in full orange bloom in the summer. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.